Hey, how you doing? March 19th. Break things down. That's the thing that I learned today. Break it down. You have a goal in mind? Break it down. Break it down is the smallest steps that you're able to do. This I'm talking to myself, but hey, this applies to you too. If you have a goal to finish a book, um, I don't have it handy, but if you have a goal to finish a book, dedicate an hour a day or dedicate an hour in your schedule. Just dedicate it and break it down. If it takes 10 hours to finish a book and you want to read it by the end of this month, break it down. Break 30 minutes Monday, 30 minutes Tuesday, two hours over the weekend. Break it down into little steps. If you want to do a business, I'm talking to myself here. If you want to do a business and someone tells you, you just need to talk to people, be charismatic. You just need to uh, sell this product and do, do this and do that. It gives a general idea. And sometimes, at least in my case, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> they say you need to be more charismatic. You need to um, get more referrals. You need to get more of this and that. I'm like, okay, I un somewhat understand that. But what's the what's the step-by-step, -step, you know? Some people, like me, are a little bit um, not skillful in that regard. Some people, like me don't necessarily do good with open open or generalized commands if someone tells me move this rock from here point a to point b using nothing but your hands uh, by today i could do it if someone tells me move this rock by point a to point b however you want to i could probably do that too if someone told me move a rock from point a to point Whatever point you want, the farthest point you can do, and the the farther it is, the better. I could try, but I won't be as successful, or I won't, you know, I won't really, I won't really have a plan of action. What I'm trying to get at is that break things down, break it down as much as you can. I have a business where I help families, I help them in their financial situation. I help them get protected insurance-wise. I help them get their college funds started up, their retirement account, all the shebang. I love what I do. But I have a bad time reaching out to people. I have a really bad, bad, um, yeah, I have a really bad uh, like skill set in that regard. But I am improving. The thing is, is that how many people do I need to talk to in order to get one client or one family that I help out, which will in turn, you know, make a, a living for myself. So if I need to talk to 10 clients, 10 people, 10 possible people in order to get to that one family that I'm able to help out, so it's a 10 to 1 ratio, right? So how about let's start with that. Start talking to 10 people. Start reading 10 pages a day. Start doing this. Start doing that. But do a little step. It's so hard for people to start a New Year's resolution or something and say, I want to go to a gym every day. I want to do one hour of gym every day. And that's really hard. Like that like the shock from going the cold shock from going nothing to being on your couch eating Cheetos, watching Mad from Cartoon Network to grinding at the gym is a really big, really big uh, reality shift. And the thing is, you, you you never really broke it down. You just, you don't know where to begin. You go to the gym the first time, you're like, okay, so uh, am I doing it right? I'm just moving my weight, so I don't really feel anything. It's too heavy, it's too light, you know? You don't break things down. So you have to break it down, number one. Just get, you know, average gym, gym, <laughs> average gym equipment. Shirt, shorts, some uh, some sneakers, whatever. And then you do average, basic, starting gym routines. 10 push-ups, 10 squats, 10 this, 10 that. And then you start adding more stuff. Okay, now today is only arm day. Today is only leg day. Today is only back day. Today is only this. But you start off with just a little tiny exercises. And you probably won't start with an hour a day. Probably going to do like 15 minutes. And that's perfectly fine. I started doing 15 push-ups a day. 15, turned into 25, turned to 30, turned to 45, turned into 50. Then I started going to the gym. 
and then this and that, and this and that, and this and that. Then I started doing the routines. No routine, just moving weights around. Arms and legs every day. And then doing an arm day. Then doing a dedicated leg day. Then you have to do a back day. Then you have to do a this day and that day and this day. However you want to do it. But you start off small. Whatever you do, start off small. Break it down. Break it down. 